4th of July is tomorrow. That means cookout food, fun by the water, and even fireworks. But of course, with the fun comes some safety risks. First responders don't want your holiday to turn into tragedy. So joining us this morning with some of those safety tips and reminders is Captain Trevor Stokes with the Pflugerville Fire Department. Good morning, Captain. Good morning. Captain, the 4th of July is a busy day for first responders. What are the typical calls you get? So uh, in addition to medical calls, we see a surge just in activity. Typically when people are home and out and about, um, we tend to see more of them. Um, thankfully, though, uh, recent laws and changes and, and some rules and regulations with fireworks has helped kind of prevent uh, some of the more fire related calls because of the use of fireworks. Yeah, we know a lot of people are going to be using the fireworks. <laughs> of course, the big ones, Trevor, are illegal for most of us, but we can use the smaller ones like sparklers. I stay away from them because I want to keep all my fingers. But if people watching want to use those, what's the best way to do it safely? Yeah, so sparklers, it's funny you mentioned that. Sparklers will reach up to about 1,200 degrees. And so um, the biggest thing with sparklers is you want to make sure that, one, you don't let kids use them. Um, I don't think I've ever seen sparklers uh, lit, and off, lit off without someone getting either scared or injured. And so while fun to look at, they can be incredibly dangerous. Um, the big thing I also would push people to, you can go to fleerworldfire.org for some really good safety tips, a very extensive list. But also make sure that you know that even if you're not in the city of Austin or the city of Pflugerville or surrounding areas, the fireworks may still be illegal in the area that you're at. Um, just because you can buy fireworks doesn't mean that you can shoot them off. Obviously, with the summertime and the heat, um, we also want to be very aware of the fact that the fireworks are flammable. And if things are being launched in the air, you never know where they may go. Um, also, drinking and fireworks is a dangerous mix and, and we know that that's probably something that people need to keep in mind on always having water available a water bucket uh, and then using a very flat uh, ground if you pl plan to shoot some of them off and then keeping a very very close eye on kids uh, and older ones those that can't move quickly away if something uh, changes yeah good advice there many of us will be spending the day in the pool or by the lakes what are some tips you have for anyone who might be having some fun by the water so some similarities there, um, always having someone uh, paying attention. So with pools and water safety, we recommend having someone we call a water watcher. So this is someone who is responsible, paying attention, uh, keeping an eye on everyone as they're enjoying the water, um, and then rotating that person out with someone else. This is not somebody who is reading a book or uh, listening maybe to a podcast, but somebody who is solely focused on just keeping an eye on the people using the pool. Um, the thing about uh, pool safety, um, drowning is a silent uh, and, and very quick uh, thing. It's unlike a trip or a fall or something that happens where you'll, you'll hear something or you'll hear someone yell, uh, with drowning, you, you typically don't hear anything. And so pool safety is a, is a huge deal. The adult supervision, uh, competent adult supervision and rotating that person out. And then also making sure that your, your kids and family members are very aware of the uh, dangers that are specific to whatever pool you may be using. Uh, public pools that have lifeguards, even though they do have lifeguards, you, it doesn't remove the responsibility of, of watching uh, the kiddos that are swimming. Yeah, that's a good reminder. Mm -hmm. Watch. Don't just listen. You mm -hmm. need to be watching them, too. Uh, you mentioned water for the fireworks, but of course, with the heat, staying hydrated is important, especially if you may be mixing alcohol into the fun. What advice do you have for having fun, but of course, keeping yourself hydrated, too? Well, uh, kind of like that, we tell the firefighters, um, hydrate before you come to work and then hydrate early and often and throughout the day. And so uh, if you find yourself getting thirsty, you're, you're probably already starting to become dehydrated. And, and especially if, if you plan on enjoying uh, some alcoholic drinks, um, what, drinking water and as much water as you possibly can is, is, is always a good recommendation. Getting out of direct sunlight, uh, losing some, wearing some light and loose clothing, um, those are all good tips. And uh, again, uh, especially for our older ones and our littler ones, um, those, those are the most prone to heat stroke or, or uh, heat emergencies. Yeah, and also sunscreen for sure. Oh, gosh. Yes. All right, Pflugerville Fire Captain Trevor Stokes, thanks you so much for being with us. Great information you just shared with us. Thank you. Take care. Yeah, you too. Let's hope they're not too busy tomorrow and everyone's staying <laughs> safe.